guys, it's Alice here, your clinical nutritionist at Chiropractic Central. I'm here to share with you my top tips on meal planning today. So my very first tip is to find a time in the week that works for you to set aside for your meal planning and preparing. It doesn't have to be Sunday, you don't have to prepare 21 meals for the whole week. It can be a small amount of time where you just prepare one meal that goes in the fridge and serves you for the whole week. For me, it's 9 o'clock on Monday mornings when play school's on. I get half an hour to whip out as many meals as I can in that time. But whatever the time is that works for you, set that aside each week or every other week, or even if it's a couple of chunks of time over the course of the week, set aside that time that you know will work for you where you can get a couple of things cooked up and prepared for the week. My second tip is to find a couple of recipes or meals that you really love, that are quick and easy, you can make up almost off the top of your head and do those every week so that that's a couple of meals that are ready to go. You don't have to plan as much for those ones. It's best if they're things that are made just from pantry staples or things that you usually have in your fridge. So you can make them up as the basis of your plan and add extra things or more exciting recipes on top of that. For me, a go-to at the moment is a zucchini slice with lots of veggies and eggs and that makes a perfect meal for breakfast, lunch, dinner or snacks. My baby loves to eat it so it's really useful for everyone in the whole household so I make that up most weeks. Also really love slow cooker meals so things that you can chuck all the ingredients in, leave them. They usually make a big batch of food that you can eat over the course of the week or put in the freezer for later. Um, one of my favorite recipes for that is my golden beans recipe because you can simply just add different proteins throughout the week like some fish or some halloumi or eggs and make it work for any meal of the day as well. Those recipes are on my website if you want to take a look for some inspiration for your go-to recipes. But that would be my tip here is add a couple of recipes that are your base for the plan so you can add some extra ones on top of that and make those ones each week. My next tip is to stock up on some pantry and freezer staples when you're doing your shopping. These don't have to be exciting things. They can be um, packaged foods. They can be healthy if you pick the right things. So some suggestions that I have are these pulse pastas that you can buy easily at major supermarkets. So these go on special really often. I always grab a few, put them in the pantry because they make a really quick and easy meal. You can make up hot dinners or a pasta salad. You can do all sorts of things with these pastas so they're really useful to have. Another suggestion is things like these vegetable fritters. So they go in the freezer and they make a really quick meal or addition to a meal. <clears throat> you can cook them with eggs for breakfast, but it's a great way of getting your veggies without having to worry about doing any prep. They're just ready to go in the freezer, just heat up and serve. Um, I'm a really big fan of these dumplings at the moment. So they go in the freezer and I always have a packet of those ready to go for quick and easy lunches if I need them. So it doesn't have to be a fully prepared meal. You can find things that go in your freezer or your pantry that can top up your meal prep for the week. So my last tip is um, to help those of us who are maybe struggling with lockdown and keeping our portion control under um, wraps. So I have a lot of clients who say that they find themselves grazing a lot more or boredom eating over the course of the day just simply from being at home and then being in the kitchen a bit more or that their kids are also doing the same sort of thing, always hungry, always asking for more snacks. <clears throat> so one of my suggestions is to package up your lunch like you would if you were going into the office or into work or into school so that you know what you're eating for the day and it's there ready to go and there's less temptation to eat additional food outside of that where you're not actually hungry. Another tip is to make up a snack box with one of these nifty bento boxes that you can just get at Woolworths or Coles and put your snacks for the day in there. So you can know that you've got you know, a protein, a fruit, carbohydrates, different snacks, all visibly there for you to munch on and grab when you are feeling hungry to avoid reaching for things that aren't necessarily what you need or are beyond what you need to eat for the day. So they're my top tips on meal planning. Um, I would love to hear how you go with your meal prep and planning for the week. Can't wait to hear from you soon.